Okay, we are at um, section 10.3, angular and translational quantities. Uh, let's look at this object that's rotating around the origin here. Uh, it's as it rotates, if you recall from uh, centripetal acceleration, uh, as an object rotates um, around a, a, a fixed point, it does have a, a tangential velocity. And that's shown in the red uh, vector here, the tangential velocity. So S equals uh, R theta. Uh, velocity is the time rate of change of S. Uh, and so S being uh, uh, R, uh, R theta, uh, uh, ds dt, the time rate of change of uh, S is the time rate of change of theta because R is not going to change. R is the same radius or, uh, going around. So V equals uh, ds dt equals R d theta dt. Uh, so V equals R, o R omega, the, the time rate of change of position, d theta dt equals angular velocity, R uh, omega. Uh, the, the, uh, now, the, uh, if we look at the acceleration there is there is a total acceleration there is a tangential acceleration there's a, a radial acceleration so uh, the tangential acceleration uh, is equal to dv dt the uh, time rate of change of linear velocity um, and since velocity is equal to r omega uh, dv dt equals d um, d r omega uh, dt, well, the r is, again isn't changing, so it's r d, um, d omega dt. Well, d omega dt is uh, alpha, uh, so uh, uh, the tangential acceleration is r alpha. Um, and the centripetal acceleration is v squared r, um, so uh, the, uh, that's equal to r omega squared. Um, so that the total acceleration is the tangential, ex tangential acceleration plus the radial acceleration. So if we uh, look at that equation below, uh, the total acceleration A, this comes out of your book because the, the, uh, the original uh, PowerPoint had it wrong. I couldn't change it. That's why it showed from the beginning. The total acceleration is the square root of the tangential acceleration squared plus the radial acceleration squared. Um, so you see AT is uh, RA, so RA, I mean R alpha, so R alpha squared is R squared, alpha squared, and uh, the uh, uh, radial acceleration is the centripetal acceleration, and that's R omega squared. So you square that, you get R squared omega to the fourth. Well, you can pull the R out, uh, distribute a property R squared, then take the square root of it. You have R times the square root of alpha squared plus omega to the fourth. Okay, Ethan and Rebecca are riding on a merry-go-round. Ethan rides on a horse at the outer rim of the circular platform, twice as far from the center of the circular platform as Rebecca, who rides on an inner horse. When the merry-go-round is rotating at a constant angular speed, what is Ethan's angular speed? Notice the question. Constant angular speed. What is Ethan's angular speed? So they're asking, what is omega? What is the angular velocity? Well, it, it's a constant angular speed. So they're both the same. It's the same as Rebecca's. Now let's get to the next part. Uh, Ethan and Rebecca riding on a merry-go-round. Ethan rides on a horse at the outer rim of the circular platform, twice as far from the center of the circular platform as Rebecca, who rides on an inner horse. When the merry-go-round is rotating at a constant angular speed, describe Ethan's tangential speed. Now, um, if so, if Rebecca is here, if Rebecca is here, and Ethan's out here and they're going like this, um, he's going twice as fast. He's going twice Rebecca's speed. Okay, we'll stop it there and we'll discuss torque the next time.